Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm playing Army of Tentacles, not a Cthulhu dating sim. I'm not sure what this game is because it's part of my Steam cleaning series where I go through all the games in my Steam library, but I'm gonna guess this actually is a Cthulhu dating sim because why else would you say it's not? Well, we'll give it a try. Play a game. Stegosaurus Game Company. Good name, good logo. So far, this game is off to a roaring start. Army of, that's a terrible font, Tentacles, not a Cthulhu dating sim. Hmm. Typography fails all over the place there. So, tell me a story. Oh, voice acting. Yes, Perry. I had a bad dream. Dozens of fish monsters were eating me alive while I was still alive. I want a story. Perry, you know that we're safe here. You know the fish monsters. Tell me about my aunts and uncles <laughs> again so I can feel safe and then go back to bed and stop bugging you. Okay. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy farther away from here, from Earth, there lived a race not unlike the aquatic creatures of this planet. They sought to expand their mighty empire to the entire universe. You're not going to say the and there? Well, let's see. Uh, that cropped out image is a little rough around the edges, but the dialogue is being written after the, vocab the voice acting, so I'm happy about that. This sounds like you're trying to religion me. I told you this story like 15 times, kiddo. I'm difficult. Continue, Daddy, continue! So one day, they dropped down to Earth to start life anew, spreading out far and wide. Culture started calling us old ones and worshipping our kind. One such species landed here in the Americas. These are your mother's people, your aunts, your uncles. Those aren't real sentences. The daddies watch over the little squid babies, and the mommies, well, they develop the in's mouth look per order of Dagon. Still sounds like you're trying to religion me. Walter Hollycraft. Continue the story, daddy! Now, a while back, a man named H.P. Lovecraft wrote about these monsters, and- Huh? Wait a minute! What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Uh-huh. Is this based on a book? Nobody wants to play a visual novel based on a book. Well, confirmation. This is a visual novel that I'm playing. It's an RPG. Everything is an RPG nowadays. That doesn't mean anything. Look, in this flashback, dream, prophecy, whatever, you're supposed to be what? Four, eight. I'm not about to get into a discussion about the genesis of genre and subgenre with someone- Ten. It's got stats and everything. Like health, which adds health. And int, which adds intelligence which allows you to say things. Things that would not be options in combat or outside of combat and just play the game. I said like sanity, even though it's uh, said like hell. Is this some kind of prophecy dream that opens up most JRPGs then? Big choices that affect stuff. Big choices that affect stuff. That's a logo somewhere. Oh, okay. So it's a WRPG. Western. You know, I'm really trying here to make this opening engaging for the player. It's really hard <coughs> to make an engaging opening. Fun. Just go to the character select screen. See what I care. Why do I even tell you any of this? I'm not a tutorial. Uh, let's... Sorry, I'm just... Yeah, I think I had that bookcase when I was younger. Let's be female. I have more sanity or more... Let's... Let's do that. Can we go down? Well, yeah. Act uno! People are really strange. That again is a quote somewhere. Perry! Octo. Perry, get up. You have a lot to do. Remember your errand to Devil Reef today. Okay, I'm up and dressed, and I had the weirdest dream. Something about Japan and inferior Western something. This forced perspective is really weird in here. Octo? Jesus Christ, is that... What's wrong, niece? You're out of your human suit. How do you like your eggs? Octo, uncle, buddy, anyone can see you. I was just gonna make them, since you've been sleeping in so often, but I thought I'd best not upset you. Anyone can walk by the window and see you. You, a Cthulhu, a star spawn, an old one, Chalan Olga, the enemy, the enemy. You like your eggs sunny side up or over easy? Hi, Kerbal. We're learning about Cthulhu. How are you doing? 
you're the one who's always telling me not to let people on. Let people. You're the one always telling me not to let people on. In, ah, oh, never that human. That doesn't read right. You're not inhuman yet. Best not to waste your time thinking about your inevitable change into a deep one. That sounded better in my head with an organ playing. You're endangering the mission. You're endangering yourself. I need to let my tentacles breathe. Now sunny or over easy. Uh, s over easy. Harry gained intelligence. Okay. There. Feeling less cranky. No. Anyone could see you. Anyone could see you. No, seriously. It broke. <clears throat> Human soup broke? What do you need? Oil? A wrench? And lobster knitting. Alright. Plan a new career, are we? I need something to hold it together. Why not glue? It feels weird. Get new lobster netting. Quest accepted. Fixing things. So what does our evil official... So, Octo, you don't need to worry about it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Ah. Uh, knitted scarf. So I guess that was the uh, Zelda reference? Dagon's not a fish. He's an old god. As one oft is. Eh, I got a message about some strange going-ons at the harbor. Other than that, business as usual. Mayor Marsh has been pretty quiet, not much to say. Same as last week and week before. Were things this quiet when Mom and Dad were still around? Well, when your father was still the main spy for the Monster Council on Devil Reef, it was a bit more... Well, Marsh was a lot more suspicious of our kind. He still did not suspect that monsters might invade his town. This was still when he never suspected the downside of making a deal with us. But when your mother turned... There's a reason I never talk about your mother turning. Let's not start today with that story. I just wish they were still here. Especially with Dagon having me do all this junk for the council. Hey, this junk is gonna pay off for us. For your aunts and uncles. For you. Yeah, if I retain enough of my humanity to see it. That... Dagon's. All right. Eh. Well, all right. All right. Hey. Leave. Nice day in our small provincial town, yes? <laughs> Want to see my dead cat collection? Some are even alive. Uh, this visual style is not matching, which I would say... I'm okay with, like, the photograph backgrounds and the character, but if you're going to mix art styles, it really throws the game out of whack. Hey, Zardok, you know where I can find something to fix mechanicals with? I need a wrench, a lobster and a fish oil. In that order. Tell me how to do things. Yeah, the general store, the harbor, and the fishery. I can go with you and protect you, but I'm not a party member. Mm, fair. There are no fish monsters in this mouth. That's a myth. I know what happens to the women in this town. I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid or crazy. Now I'm off to find some cats. Find some more cats. Read the script. 1927, October 5th. Well, if that's the year, then the bookshelf we saw earlier is not consistent. Come on, people. Also, was there internal wiring in 1927? I think there was. This should be easy enough. I need netting, fish oil, and red cheese. Exactly. <clears throat> what? You are on your way to completing your first side quest. Uh, side quests can earn you additional items, stats, or other goodies. Okay. Go ahead. But first, I want to show you something. I want to show you how to use the in-game menu. Great. Click on the timer up above. No, seriously. Do it. I want music down, sound down. Okay. I'm going to assume you did it. Anyways, anyways, any... Uh, from here, you can save, load, look at your... Hey, army. Party. Knitted scarf. I'll be back. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's where I am. I don't need to go there. I don't need to go there. Go the hey, what are you doing here? I'm guarding this gate for Sheriff Chotter. Sheriff Chotter. 
Sorry, Deputy Balder, I was just... You were trying to sneak by my gate, weren't you? No, sir, I just needed some fish oil. That's basically trying to sneak by my gate and take the wares inside the fishery. Uh, no. Yes. Look, Mr. Balder, I... I will have my head for this, but Mayor Marsh is concerned with bigger matters at this point. Here's your fish oil. Now stop bugging me and let me get on with my very important work of guarding this gate. Thank you. Here we got fish oil. Uh, let's go to the general store. Hello, anyone here? Harry find a wrench on the ground. Well, hello, you. Harry picks up the wrench like a boss. Uh, public executions and, for, and fun prizes for anyone within his mouth. Look. Oh, you get the prize for proof of death. Uh, Irish cap? Vest? Uh... Marshes we're looking for location of werewolves. Okay. Not that. Okay. Uh, Perry. Okay. I'm having trouble understanding which one's equipped. I think the white one's equipped. Okay, time to get some lost learning without getting pinched by lobsters or fishermen or cops. <laughs> He's a Scottish lizard monster. Angus? Every holy craft? Me no like holy craft, people. Angus, what's wrong? You know me. Voices in head! holy crafts. Kill all holy crafts! Said it, big fella. I don't mean to hurt you. This is your first battle. Combat in this game is done through arguments. To win, you will have to either rebuke or agree with your opponent's words. Alright. I'm confused. Rebuking means to offend, to rebuff, to critique, to perforate. No, I'm not an idiot. I know what rebuke means. Here's a walkthrough of the battle system. Thanks. These are called... Arrows. I know what an arrow is. As this is your first argument, I'll provide a hint toward your success. And that is? Good luck. Of course. But like, what if I have something I don't know? Can I cheat? Can I use the internet? I'll use the internet. <laughs> okay, okay. To win the fight, what's the phrase? Music sues the savage beast? <laughs> Although it makes it look like it was a standard game. Whoa. Music me like songs. A hunting will, a hunting will go. I was born in a crossfire. What life got me? Hunting we will go, hunting we will go. Hmm, this song made me feel soothed. Don't know the song, can I battle please? We'll catch a fish and put him on a dish. Hunting we will go. Whoops. We'll catch a fish and put him on a dish, a hunting we will go. Hmm, this always feel more soothed than before. Okay. We'll shoot a Jabberwocky and put him on a platter. No, that doesn't sound right. We'll catch a giraffe and make him laugh. We'll hunt him, we'll go. We'll hunt Jean Van Jean, Jean Van Jean, and then we'll sing a hunting we'll go. We'll hunt T Rex alligators and hunt him. Shoot a giraffe and make him laugh. Oh, that rhymes. Not exactly sure. You hurt me! Angus, go back into water to die! Six and stones, am I right? Harry got another. Alright, well, we got. Get your junk. You were brought up better than that. Thank you for the junk, Perry. 
Deepon attacked me, Angus. Wait, what? Did you report it? I'm not going. I'm going to talk to him. I... I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to Devil Reef right now. Perry, you have to know that's not going to be you. Definitely no way for you to promise me that. Maybe it simply was agitated. He he was Agnes. You know that Mayor Marsh has been. Oh, he's planning something, Perry. Maybe this is something to do with it. This kitchen is not a 1927 kitchen. I know dishwashers didn't exist in 1927. Yeah, yeah, I feel really great knowing that Dag and the council are only keeping me human until we finally invade this godforsaken town. You don't know that. Yes, I do. My dad was his favorite. Hell, it's why he was. He has you protecting me. Hey! I'm just tired, Uncle. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, kid. I know. I know. Okay, let's get me into this human suit. Human suit? This is a stick-up! In his mouth was each one. In his mouth was two, nothing. That is never funny. That is always funny. <laughs> Why does he have a robot arm? Ah, the elusive Octo. The old one. Through the amazing detective skills of looking through your window, I saw you. <laughs> You're coming with us. Hello again, Shoulder. Marsh will rest easy knowing that we have the breeder locked up in dear old Stormwatch. Breeder. Take me if you must, but leave the young one out of this. <laughs> this is Walter's girl, I take it. The Spawn. He wants her too. Oh no. Perry, listen to me. Find Webster. We fought in the Dreamlands together. The Dreamlands? Stop them from talking to each other. Now, I need you to run. Run. Run, Perry. Run! Agent Hollycraft, he's waiting to see you. Thank you, uh, soldier at ease. Thank you. I'm a basic training specialist fish, uh, assigned specifically to help you get any of your army or party in shape for the coming invasion. Okay. For the glory of the old gods, for the glory of Father Dagon, the sea devil, the great dragon, son of the mighty Mother Hydra, claimer of this world and of those other worlds yet unclaimed. And now, I'm just rattling off expository bullshit that you already... Oh, <laughs> no. I'm your trainer. I train you and your team. Army. Uh, yes. So, you know, that's me. He's up at the volcanoes? Yes, the command center. Remember to stop by any time you want to train or rest. I, I, I know that I always get my sanity back each time I rest. Okay... Uh, train. Okay, so as for training, you can train anyone up a level. This usually takes someone 30 days. That seems to be a good balance. Now, on the second level that you and your party member train, you will find yourself getting more and more experienced. You'll be feeling more intelligent. Uh... Okay... The invasion was scheduled for Halloween two years ago, but because of bad management, got delayed a few times. Oh, please don't tell the I said that. Okay, the new date is January 1st, 1929. Okay, so we got a lot of time. Agent Hollycraft. <laughs> Sir, my uncle's just kidnapped by Martin's forces. I was just attacked by one of us. What's going Octo on? Octo was taken. This we know. As for the other matter... We have heard rumors of Marsh kidnapping children of those with the Innsmouth look and training them to fight for him. Tales of a horrid, wretched prison. Our spies utter the name Stormwatch. I am sure Octo is being held at this Stormwatch. Okay. Then, uh, why don't we go in force? These are just rumors, though. We need more sustainable evidence to act on it. The evidence that Chowder went all patriotic on us and acted in order to take Octo to the Stormwatch place. Screw it. You want evidence? I'll get you evidence. Ever on the invasion. For the glory of all the old gods. Even Cthulhu, who thinks he's so hardcore. I'll show him who is hardcore. The uh, vocal balance for this game is really off. Now, clearly this is written, or sorry, created on a lower budget, so the recordings were not done in a professional studio, uh, but... There could be some work that we definitely appreciated to balance out the audio, because like, some of these characters dip really low, and even with the volume turned up, I'm having a hard time uh, making them out. 
Octo told me to find a dude in Webster. I need to know where he is now. Webster? The Night Gaunt? There is an old prophecy detailing how a young Deep One would unite the races, starting with the Night Gaunt and gradually gaining a party consisting of many in order to lead an army. Uh huh. You know where I can find this Webster guy? You said he was a Night Gaunt? Have you had dreams? Have you been to the Dreamlands? Uh, yeah? I've had dreams, but if I went to a monster heaven, I'm pretty sure I know about it, sir. You must lead our army, Perry Hollycraft. It must be you. And this Webster's supposed to be in it? How should I know? You seem to know where he is? Well, Webster is a night god. He's a warrior of the Dreamlands. If he is on this plane of existence, he will be at Davy Jones' bar. He's a warrior. You know how brooding those types get. Where were you, sir? We are soldiers! Sir Beavis oh, Cthulhu. That. <laughs> a few eons ago, Cthulhu yonked so far and I got really drunk and started seeing who could destroy the most life in the universe via expending the least amount of energy. Cthulhu won by blinking and taking out an entire galaxy. That's pretty, uh, wow. You gave him a headache and constant bloody noses for an entire year. In the grand scheme of things, he's a baby. A newborn old god. And he shows up two of his elders by batting an eyelash and destroying a galaxy comprised entirely of fuzzy bear-type dwarves. Aww. A galaxy made of entirely teddy bears? Alright. David Jones... Drunken David Jones left. Anything I can do for you, Agent Hollycraft? Any rumors, David? Other than Dagon is still cranky as old get out? Nothing. Max says business is still going strong. Stuff of nightmares. Shoggoths are still down there with Bokrug, making weapons and such for the invasion. Anything I can do for you, Agent Hall? Perry, my Be drugs are up. getting restless. Get me some of that fine humey stuff. Will do. Beer Quest Part 2. Anything I can do for you? I'm trying to find Webster. Webster? Him? He's over at the usual corner with his Shoggoth. His free Shoggoth. It's a sight. Too bad some people don't like looking at it. What do you mean? Look, I don't want no trouble with the military. Davey, what's going on? You're an officer. Maybe you can solve this for them both. I'm an agent. Hey, Barstool. Quit talking. I want to sit on you. <laughs> what? Yeah, you tell him parts. You sit on me, you'll be missing a keister, mister. It's being uppity, parts. That didn't sound as great as I thought it would. Davey, one of your Shugoth workers is giving lip. We should show it the proper circle of laugh. Uh, intervene. <laughs> hey, versus private parts. I get it. Private parts. Pick the wrong soldier to mess with. I'm in boot camp. I'll hit you so hard that your mama will feel it in her wound. Reply. Uh, well, your mom was so fat that she had a fat baby. Hmm. Why do you care so much about mother's reproductive organs? Why do you care so much about your mother's reproductive organs? I thought your mom was alive. She went back to her mom's womb. Why do you care so much about mother's reproductive organs? That's the best you got? Well, your mom was buried. She's not actually your mom at all. Uh, I hit your mom so hard last night she went back into her mama's boom. Alright, that was a good one. Why, why would you say that? You don't even know my mom. Okay, okay, your mother is stupid that she saw that it was raining and did not buy an umbrella. Your mom was so stupid that her rogue structure said jump and she turned into a frog. And your mother said so she let her only son go into the army. Uh, your mom was so stupid that she didn't teach her son that... It was Reese's Eight Mama jokes that are not funny. That's your job. Uh, your mom was so stupid she that her robot structure said jump and you turned into a frog. Enough of the mother jokes. Your nose is so ugly that Dreamlands wouldn't take you only heaven and hell. Didn't know you could read, let alone Serial de Bergiac. 
Well, your nose looks like someone decided to take heaven and hell and slam him into it because it just reminded me too much of a ex-girlfriend. How sweet your mother to give little birds. How big was it? I don't understand. Your, well, your nose looks like someone decided to take heaven and hell and slam them into it because it just reminded them too much of an ex-girlfriend. Now with the face jokes. It's so juvenile. And after the vengeful ex destroyed your face with two slush bodies, they bought tickets to play the thing where I should get for anything. I remember your glue. Eddie's private. Oh, come on, man. You sure you got nothing left? After vengeful ex. Uh, I can't think of any more insults. Must make IQ joke or something. Uh. It's a joke about mental capacity of your mother having passed her teens on to you. I highly doubt you would get it. <laughs> I'd make a joke about the mental capacity of your mother, but, but having passed her genes down to you, I highly doubt you would get it. But, but, I'm a winner! Not a winner. Okay. What? I'm, I'm gonna blow this pop stand. You best watch your back, deep one. I'm sure we'll meet again. Possibly in another act. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, child? I haven't heard, and uh, are you Webster the Night Gone? That would be me, Deep One. Oh, great. Another one. You handled yourself well, Shoggoth. Riley is a great warrior of wits. And you're a Webster. I am. Octosen. Who are you? My name is Perry Hollycroft. When he looks old. Yes, I know Octo well. He and I have fought many battles. What happened? He was arrested. You should probably work on getting him out of jail via forceful intervention. A jailbreak, you say? <laughs> How dangerous. Oh, sounds honorable, Webster. Could help you regain yours. Ignore Riley. It's for the best. Let's go talk to Okay. Today. You have just gained party members. Thanks. I will now tell you how to use party members in combat. You're still here. You can swap them. Each swap alley goes dark after you use them. You cannot reset the same turn. This is where you select your alley. Each party has one multiple abilities, cooldown periods. You're a bro, Mr. Narrator. As I said, let's go talk to Perry. Sure thing, boss. Perry Riley, it's just Perry. You don't need to be anything but yourself around. This works for me. Uh, quest? Uh, go to Elizabeth Dane's tavern and get Tessie on the trunk. Uh, talk to Todd. Yo, Todd, what's the latest? Okay. Yeah, actually. My patrons require something a bit new. Those fish monsters drink. Right? I don't know. Perry. I'm a bartender. I know everyone's name. Let's not be coy here. Get me some monster beer. Monster beer. I don't know what you're talking about, Todd. I'll make it worth your while. Monster beer. Alright. Can we go here? Anything I can do for you, Agent? Got some extra beer lying around? Well, that's certainly a way to expand business. I mean... We'll own them soon enough, am I right? Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Anything right. I can do for you, Agent Hall. Alright. Got the beer. Go back to InSmell. Nice. Here's your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Wait a bit. I'll make up something really fun with this. Dragon-aged bourbon. Oh, that's fun. All right, information. You planning on putting me out? Yes. Awesome. Mass effect Imperial Pale Air. Rumor. If Choder had the brains, he'd realize his technological know-how gives him the edge over Marsh. He's far too much of a lapdog to stage a hostile takeover, though. Mayor. He and Choder have been really quiet lately. Only seen when they want to be. I'll tell you one thing. 
Our taxes are not going to the roads. Ball He's got a weird relationship with his gate. Yeah, Baldur's Gate, I get it. The Black Woods and Double Reef are our monster problem. Marsh keeps sending troops to the Black Woods. Devil Reef, however, is somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic. That's a pretty big ocean. Alright. So now we have this quest complete. What? If I were alive. You're gonna pay what you did parts. I'm here to bend my fallen comrade. Uh, Webster. Uh... Knee cutter? Thank you. Pay for my Captain, Captain General, Major. Captain Obvious. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Not sure why that worked. At least my butt is not fat. Five round clone. And my axe. Blow you winds. I bet you can light up a room. Thank you, Major Offense, who cooked the cheese. Thanks, Major Offense. Thanks, Major Offense. Anything I can do for you, Agent Hollycroft? Here's a few Awesome. Minutes. Mass effect. I guess it will affect the masses, right? Glad you like it, Dave. Hey, Blocks! Perry's got us a new beer! Who here will fight with this young lass to gain us Innsmouth? No, no, that's... Subtle positive. Anything I can do for you, Agent Hollycroft? Alright. Weird. One. Okay. The Shogoth Factory. Let's do here. Creepy. The Shogoth. All right. You guys need weapons or anything? <laughs> That's a good voice. Thinking cap. The heck? All right, so. Harry. That doesn't make any sense. I only have two items. What can I do for you? Wait, is it the same guy from... This place looks dead, Max. I mean, more than normal. It's a stupid invasion. I mean, I love that we're gonna do it. It's, it's great. I, I don't know. People are hiding in their homes and playing war games outside. But I've got to keep business up. What can I do for you? Um, I don't. I don't want it. Star spot. Sanity. Well, I need a weapon. And. What can I, I do have, for you? Should I have money? Like, should I have money? All right, we need to go to docks. Um, we need a rest. You always need your beauty sleep before a mass slaughter that you may or may not be questioning due to your split parentage. I'll shut up now. Okay. Train ride. Glory to the old gods! Train army. Glory to the old gods! Oh, that took a month. Oh, so I have to wait? Weird island. Right. Huh. I'm gonna click that cat. Well, uh, this has been Army of Tentacles, not a Cthulhu dating sim. Um, this game has a lot of heart and a lot of tentacles, but I'm gonna say it's it's missing some... It's got a lot of love, but not, not a lot of craft in this Lovecraftian story. Ooh, there's a byline. Um, what it's missing for me is that the, uh, 
the narrative seems to be all over the place. The voice acting isn't consistent. Uh, the visuals aren't consistent between characters and locations and stuff like that. I, I like what they're going for. It's taking a jab at visual novels and, and Lovecraftian and stuff, and it's it's taking that whole grim dark affair and like just making it jolly and silly and all that. But it it's missing a lot of fit and finish to make it actually stand out and be interesting. And there are some really buggy combats and stuff, and just doesn't seem to have enough drive. Like there should be a quest here that says what I'm supposed to be doing or my goal, but it's not, and I don't know now. So yeah, that's Army of Tentacles, not a completely dating sim. I, I can't honestly recommend it. It's charming, but it, it's not it's not fun. It's tough to say. Anyway, cheers.